uncertain. That is the major impact, psychological impact and social impact of the liquid modern era. Obviously, uncertainty is not a pleasant uh, state. And uh, people who dream of freedom, when they actually get it, are appalled by the number of risks which it involves. Um, freedom always comes with this sort of uncertainty. Uh, the future is unpredictable, and that's also unpleasant. And therefore, uh, liquid modernity gives birth automatically to the nostalgia for some sort of security rather than freedom. Uh, let's give up a part, at least, of our freedom in exchange of more security. We, we feel, you know, lost, abandoned, and, uh, and frightened. And frightened. Uh, liquid fears are company, are permanent company of liquid modernity. I came to the conclusion uh, that, uh, in fact, the line of uh, historical development is not straight. It's not a linear course. Progress is not linear. Progress is pendulum-like. Uh, first of all, like 70 or 80 years ago, already Sigmund Freud wrote, uh, the, all the troubles of contemporary men and women, he said, come from the fact that they have surrendered quite a lot of their freedom in exchange for a little bit more of security. Uh, today, Sigmund Freud would say exactly the opposite. He would say that uh, all the psychological troubles, problems, you know, infirmities of men and women come from the fact that they surrender quite a lot of their security for the sake of more and more and more freedom. So pendulum turns the other way. And I think that um, uh, for the last uh, 10 years or so, we are seeing quite a lot of signs of people ready to surrender, to constrain, to limit the freedom of maneuver uh, for the sake of uh, a little bit more certainty. Uncertainty becomes unbearable, and that's, I think, the uh, change uh, which happened since I published my book, Liquid Modernity, which was 11 years ago. You know, and, uh, in the meantime, the pendulum went the other way.